Protesters have gathered in Buckinghamshire tonight, furious at the prospect of more work on the route of the proposed High Speed 2 rail link. The entire project's future is now under review, but HS2 are still clearing hedgerows and vegetation. Let's go live now to our reporter, Natalie Verney, who's in Calvert for us tonight. Natalie, what have campaigners said to you? Well, I've spoken to quite a few residents today. They all share the same opinion. They're angry, they're tired, and quite frankly, they're at their wit's end over what they describe as HS2's complete incompetence. This historic gatehouse on the edge of Quainton is now in the hands of HS2 and could be demolished at any point. They've taken the keys to the house. They haven't paid, and so the overall claims are a significant sum of money. The Secretary of State uh, has issued a pause on d demolition of ancient woodland. Why not statement buildings such as this as well? A few miles down the track, there's evidence of inadequate planning. We noticed this stop-proof fencing going in. Then trackway was laid, which we subsequently t found out was supposed to be put in for access for the fence. They ripped the trackway out and we now understand that they're relaying the trackway for access for other purposes. This is just a tiny example of the extortion amount of money that's being wasted on the enabling contract for HS2. And over near Steeple Claydon, an entire ancient meadow has been uprooted and moved. Seriously, HS2 have lifted what they are claiming to be a medieval meadow and they brought it about a foot deep and then they have dumped this turf onto this previously arable field and it's an absolute mess. I am literally at a loss of words here. This is burning money, right? I, 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 what? What? It's time to stop and revive. Well, I'm with Joe Rukin now. Joe, you've walked the entire route of HS2, haven't you? What did you find? I found 350 mi miles worth of communities and environment that does not deserve this destruction to be thrust upon it. Now, HS2 Limited are just about to start their eco side, their tree mageddon, and for what? So that the people who've lobbied for this can make billions and billions of pounds. That's the only reason HS2 has got this far. It was announced earlier this week that work to clear ancient woodlands is to be halted, but they are ploughing ahead with other work, aren't they? Well, the simple fact is that HS2 Limited earlier in the year cut down thousands of trees during nesting season, which, which is illegal if, if you've got nesting birds. And apparently there were no nesting birds whatsoever. So what's going to happen is that they're going to still going to cut down these ancient trees because they're going to say that the costs will go up or the time scales will go up if they don't cut them down. Grant Shapps has given, unfortunately, given them an excuse. And it's terrible here, you know, HS2 Limited haven't bothered to turn up here today to explain what they're doing because they can't, because they're planning 500 acres worth of clearances, they're taking down over 200 mature trees and they don't have a final design yet. So how can you know what you need to cut down until you've got a final design? You, you must be pleased about the government review. Are you hopeful it could be scrapped? Well, I would say that HS2 is more likely of being cancelled now than it ever has been. Whether it was an electoral ploy for an election that might not happen, who knows? But we don't have a government that is 100% behind it. All we have to do now is hope that the truth comes out and the fraud that is HS2 okay. is exposed. Thank you, Joe. Well, tonight's meeting was meant to be a chance for residents to meet HS2, ask their questions. They have pulled out, but they did send us a statement. It says they've rescheduled the meeting tonight. They're planning a larger event to give more local people the opportunity to talk to them. And they are planning a significant programme of tree planting from November. There's three months until the decision is made. Until that time, these residents are worried about what damage could be done. Thank you, Natalie.